glad you're here at the theater with me. It is our first official practice for the big show. We call them rehearsals. That's just a big word for practice. It's my first chance to show what I got as stage manager of the show. And I really want it to go well. So I got here a little early. Look who it is! My best friend, Chip, the star of the show. Hey, Chip. Oh, hey, Callie. Are you ready to be the greatest stage manager ever? You bet. Places, everyone. What does that mean? That means you have to go to where you're supposed to be when the show starts. Then wait for your cue. What's a cue? Isn't that the letter that comes after P in the alphabet? No, silly. A cue is the time you're supposed to go on stage. Have you learned all your lines? Yes, absolutely. No question. Without a doubt. Not exactly. Great. Wait, uh, what was that last thing you said? I said not exactly. What's up? Well, lines are all the words I need to say in the show, right? Right. Well, I don't know. All my lines, there are so many. Um, yeah, you're the main character. You have the most speaking parts. So I, um, might need some help with that. But don't worry, I have a plan. Oh, great. What is it? Okay, so here it is. I'm going to hide this behind my back, and whenever the other person is talking, I'm going to sneak a quick peek at it to help me. Smart, right? But that means everyone is going to see you holding the paper. I have a better idea. How about I hold on to this, and whenever you forget a line, I'll whisper it to you. Sound good? All right. Thanks, Callie. You are the best. Okay. Get out there, Chip. It's time to start practice. Everyone, places. Know your cues. Know <laughs> your lines. I've got a lot to do. While we're practicing, why don't we check out our Bible story for today? It's time for today's Bible story. It comes from the book of Esther, chapter 3. Last time, we heard the amazing story about how God helped Esther become the queen in a land that was far away from her people's home. Her people were the Jews, and some people in the new land, Persia, didn't treat the Jews very kindly. That's why Esther's cousin Mordecai told Esther not to tell anyone that they were Jews. When Esther was picked to be the queen, she went to live in the royal palace and Mordecai got the job working at the gate. He was a really good guy, and at one time, he heard two people planning to do something horrible to the king. Mordecai let the people know that they had to stop the plan. Now, there was a man named Haman, who was closest to the king. This meant that Haman walked around. Everyone had to bow to him. Everyone except Mordecai. Mordecai loved God and would not bow or worship anyone other than God including Haman. This made Haman really, really mad. One night, King Xerxes had a night where he could not sleep. So he asked someone to read to him about the things that happened in his kingdom. That's when he heard the story about the time Mordecai had saved his life. So the king asked Haman, what should he do for someone that made him really happy? Haman thought the king was talking about him, so he went on and on about the things that he would have the king do for that very special person. He said to give them a special robe and have them ride it on one of the king's horses, while someone says really nice things about them the whole time. The king really liked all of those ideas and ordered Haman to do all the things he had just told the king to do, but for Mordecai. The very man Haman was so mad at for not bowing to him. Mordecai was probably thankful that the king would do these nice things for him, but he didn't save the king's life because he wanted a prize. He did it because he knew that God helps us do good behind the scenes. And now, um... Now I know that friendship is truly the best gift of all. Now I know that friendship is truly the best gift of all. <laughs>
and curtain down. That's it, everyone. We did it! Thanks! But Callie is the real hero. She was helping me the whole time. She would whisper the lines if I forgot one. She was awesome. Thanks! I just wanted everything to go well. Well, it did. Thanks to you. You are truly amazing. Do you guys want to go get some after-practice snacks? That sounds awesome! You guys go ahead and I'll catch up. Wow, friends. I didn't help Chip with his line so that everyone would tell me how great I did. I just wanted to do the right thing. Kind of like Mordecai in the Bible story today. I guess God really does help us do good behind the scenes. Being stage manager is the best job ever. Gotta go, but remember, God helps us do good behind the scenes. See you next time.